from the epitome of academic excellence in the East Africa region, Mount Kenya University, we continue to make strides in our journey of continuous improvement and provision of quality, affordable and accessible university education. And to drive this agenda home, in January 2021, the Mount Kenya University Council presided over the installation of the second Vice-Chancellor, Professor Deogratius Jagani, who took over the mantle of leadership from the founding Vice-Chancellor, Professor Stanley Waudo. Professor Jagani is a distinguished scholar with more than 20 years of experience in the management of academic institutions of international repute and is expected to oversee the implementation of MKU's 2020-2029 strategic plan. He served for more than 10 years at senior management level at the University of KwaZulu-Natal in South Africa, one of the best universities in the continent, where he rose from Deputy Dean in the Faculty of Science and Agriculture to Deputy Vice-Chancellor and Head of the College of Agriculture. MKU is a world-class university. It has got all the necessary facilities to be able to deliver on its mandate of teaching and learning, research, community engagement and the corporate social responsibilities. And uh, that has been quite uh, eye-opener, taking in consideration that uh, uh, people have always looked toward the south for good universities, but MKU has got all that it takes to be able to excel in this uh, academic environment. His installation coming months before the university released its first cohort of 29 doctors to the market after six years of training. The pioneer class of medical students took oath from industry regulator Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Council as an approval that they were qualified. This is the only first medical school we visited once and Prof. Magoa gave it an approval on the first day. And I want to say this is a fact that when we inspected all the medical schools in East Africa and the leadership of Dr. Eva Jenga and Professor Okulo of Uganda and Professor Gasaba of Tanzania, of course Rwanda was represented and Burundi was, were, were represented. Mount Kenya University Medical School emerged number one in the East African community. The powder dean said he has no fear of being treated by one of you. I don't think there's any other guarantee I need that these are safe doctors. We have offered that a very stable environment. You won't hear of uh, uh, strike coming from the lecturers, uh, where uh, you eventually lose a lot of time before they graduate. Here you are assured, if your course is six years, it takes you six years. If it's four years, it takes four years. There won't be those too many interruptions. And we have provided uh, all the necessary facility that is needed for the training. What we are trying to do is to make sure that the patient-doctor ratio is reduced. And you can't do that one without training the medical, uh, medical doctors. And for us, we is a clear sign that uh, MKU can actually be able to compete effectively with any other university in terms of training medical doctors and both in terms of the infrastructure and in terms of the personnel. The young doctors are currently undergoing a mandatory 13 months internship program. My dream is to become an entrepreneur, open my own facility and go in that direction or serving the people which is at my heart. There are so many areas that are unreached like West Pocot and the uh, unreached areas and that's where I want to invest and work. It is such efforts of bridging the gap of inequality, we believe, that made Mount Kenya University get recognition by the United Nations Academic Impact, choosing MKU to serve as the global hub for sustainable development goal number 10 on reduced inequalities for a renewable period of three years, starting June 2021 to 31st May 2024. We are closing the gap of inequalities. And for our university, most of our students are not the rich students, are the common students. 
from the common, uh, from, from the villages and from an environment. And what we have put in place is to make sure that education becomes available for anybody who wants to come to university. We will continue understanding, you know, the economic times that we are in and making our courses and programs as affordable as they can. Our students and scholars continue to carry out research in a bid to provide solutions to the myriad of health-related problems bedeviling the human race. From the collection of parts of plants with medicinal value to elaborately extracting the medicine and carrying out tests of their effectiveness, we are keen to provide solutions that are effective and affordable. These efforts have not gone unnoticed. MKU remains to be one of the best funded universities by the National Research Fund and also international donors. We are keen to ensure that knowledge gained at MKU is implemented in order to benefit the society. MKU researchers have been instrumental in developing the cancer registries for Machakos Level 5 Hospital and Kiambu Level 4 Hospital. The registries were developed through a grant from the Medical Research Council of UK through a collaboration with the University of Edinburgh. The project is called Precision Medicine for Improved Earlier Diagnosis and Reduced Mortality of Breast Cancer in Kenya. The Machakos registry has been handed over to the county government, while the Kiambu is near completion. The system is quite effective because uh, by just a click of a button, uh, in, the, in, the, in the computer you can be able to search for any data you require. If you want data on uh, breast cancer, you can be able to get it from our cancer registry, dating back all the way from 2014 to current. And uh, again, uh, if you want to get uh, the demographics of these cancer cases, you can be able to get it very easily. And uh, I really appreciate uh, the partnership we have uh, with Mount Kenya University in uh, this uh, setting up of the cancer registry and uh, in cancer research. We need the registry and for evidence-based uh, policy making, uh, also guiding research in future. Remember that in this country, uh, we have not had an updated cancer registry to know how many people get to get cancer, how many who gets which cancer, how many are male, how many are female. For purposes of uh, is allocation of resources. In an effort to play a role in the fight against COVID-19, MKU has acquired a PCR machine which is used for testing COVID-19 among other viral related diseases. This has been a major boost to the study of viral related diseases in a bid to produce antigens. MKU was the only private university in the country whose COVID-19 research proposal was approved by the government for funding in the year 2021. If you break down the red blood cells, potassium will be... Researchers from the university are already undergoing training in collaboration with medical personnel from Machakos and Kiambu counties on how to implement this project. We are ha happy that the national government is supporting research in our private universities, but also we receive grants from other, other donors who are international. And our grant portfolio is approaching a billion shillings. We are addressing the real challenges, especially in the health sector. And uh, these challenges, uh, including antimicrobial resistance, are really, you know, uh, serious threats. And uh, of course, maternal and newborn health is a big problem for us in this part of the world, as, as well as the infectious diseases like malaria and lately COVID-19. So by tackling real problems or huge problems uh, innovatively, you know, uh, trying to find new ways of doing things, I think this really makes our propositions quite attractive. Four students pursuing information technology were among the top 50 shortlisted teams of the Google's Developer Student Club Solution Challenge 2021, an annual contest that invites university students from all over the world to devise solutions for everyday problems. MKU students were the only team from Kenya which was shortlisted. The four IT students including Billy Okeo, Daniel Dennis, Sandra Kuria and Catherine Ratemo joined hands to develop Iro, a machine learning based mobile application to detect cataracts in eyes. 
It works by a user taking a picture of the eye and the app analyzes the image and tells the possibility of having cataracts or not. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, cataract accounts for 30 to 50 percent of blindness in most African and Asian countries. All we needed to do was sit and learn and this is something that even our lecturers tell us that it can be, it's for a lot of people, it's a PhD paper for most PhD people and we actually decide, actually managed to make it. So I think there's no limit to what you can do if you just find a problem and decide to solve it in our community. And since uh, we are students, we have a lot of, we are really blessed, we have a lot of resources, the internet. I feel like we as students, especially in campus and our generation in general, like we have we are in the perfect time to solve a lot of problems that have been ailing our community. Cataract is the largest cause of avoidable blindness in the country, making up 43% of all cases of blindness. In its continued quest to construct world-class facilities, MKU has completed the construction of a 2,000-seater capacity convention center in its Thika campus. The one-of-a-kind building is an architectural masterpiece to marvel at and he is expected to be utilized in talent development and also holding conferences of national and international repute. We are hoping that we can actually use the, the center to, to host even the governor's uh, conference in Thika. So this is a facility that is going to be a game changer, be able to lift the economy of Thika and be able to make sure that uh, uh, what we promise to train our student is actually uh, a ground uh, training facility for those students. The university has also expanded part of its library in order to create a conducive environment for postgraduate students. Your title shapes the purpose of your study. The this bearing in mind that the university continues to employ technology in a bid to ensure that the postgraduate students are able to complete their coursework on time and are given the necessary learning support no matter which part of the globe they are studying from. On the same breath, MKU continues to enhance its infrastructure in different parts of the country, the latest being acquisition of land and construction of the Meru campus at the heart of Meru town and the construction of the Malindi campus in Kilifi County, which is on its way to completion. MKU has also set up a staff cafeteria at the MKU Alumni Plaza. The cafeteria is geared towards enabling students taking hospitality course gain practical skills including learning how to manage their own business, especially for those who would opt to be self-employed. MKU continues to support the less privileged members of the society, giving them an opportunity to study in a friendly and conducive environment. The university has also given them an equal opportunity to compete with other students, enabling some of the students who are able differently, like Bill Gwendo Kaunda, to competitively vie and win the position of the president of MKU student body. We have made tremendous strides Nationally, we are ranked number two in terms of um, inclusivity, uh, university inclusivity of all people. The university is doing a lot in terms of accommodating these people uh, because we have uh, infrastructure that is disability friendly. So the university infrastructure is fitted with lamps and lifts that enable the students to access university services with ease. We have partnered with TV47 to hear a program that is called Beyond the Remit, which is aired on Saturday, 7.30 p.m. And this is about sensitizing the society on how to uh, support persons able differently, give them the moral support, appreciate them and accommodate them. Awarding of student scholarships through the MKU Foundation has also ensured that students who are less privileged in the society are able to complete their studies. Martin Owila, a former student leader at MKU who also turns up for the National 15 Aside rugby team is one of the beneficiaries of an academic scholarship. He is set for graduation this August. I didn't even know I will make it to the university, not because I didn't have grades, uh, but because of the challenging uh, financial situations during then, uh, growing up with a single parent and then I happened to be a first one. So, you know, it was tough. I joined after high school, I said like two years. Uh, before joining any college or whatever. 
And so this degree scholarship has been a great deal for me. Uh, one, because this is going to be the first, the second graduation uh, that I'll be on the ground. And also just being able to see that indeed we have finished uh, this uh, thing that we started. Due to continuous improvement in academics, the MKU Law Campus has now been cleared by the relevant professional bodies to offer a master's degree in law. So upward and onward, the university continues to grow from strength to strength and unlocking infinite possibilities.